Alright, welcome back to the final part of the Super Monkey Ball Banana Blitz playthrough. We are going to take care of worlds 9 and 10 as best we can. I just want to remind you, the only exception to this rule is 10-5, in which if I don't clear it, I don't clear it in 5 minutes. I'm gonna try it now. Not too many tries of it, but if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. It's that simple. Okay. That was supposed to work. Alright, now let's try again. By the way, I don't expect to clear this without using a continue. There we go. That's the easy way through that. It's pretty simple too, really. A lot of these stages look hard, but they're put to shame by their easy ways. By the way, 20 second stage here, you want to move. But you don't want to fall off, that'd be nice. You tend to start- oh crap. <laughs> you tend to start moving from side to side, but I wasn't expecting that. Oh boy. But you just, you want to keep moving, you don't want to waste too much time. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, no, not three. <laughs> you got me there. Okay, we need some bananas. We need, we need one banana. <laughs> Okay, this stage is terrible. This stage is terrible. I'll tell you why. Alright, it's- it looks- oh, crap! Jeez, give me no leeway whatsoever. Just give me no leeway. Unbelievable. Ah, uh, there, there goes that idea. Don't- don't, don't even bother. It's in you then. Okay, now, as I was trying to say, there is just one big problem with this stage. It looks, it looks easy, as I've already demonstrated, it isn't really that easy, but... Well, there is one tricky part to this stage, and... Well, you have one of these things on there. Not a good thing. But if you can get it off... The problem is getting it off. Actually- Oh! <laughs> Don't do that, man! Come on! The problem is getting it off, though. Because a lot of times you do not either get it off or you fall off before it gets off. There's just not enough room for the both of you. It's the only one will generally survive there. By the way, the thing comes back after about three seconds on the floor, so... Three seconds falling off and then it winds up coming back, so... You just want to keep moving. There you go. Sometimes that takes me a lot of tries to do, so I'm I'm actually lucky for that. I'm lucky for that. Okay, since I clearly don't understand this stage at all, I'm doing this the short way. Or not! Moron. Oh! What? Oh! Jeez! But yeah, I clearly don't understand this stage at all. I don't even understand how to do it normally. Really, I don't. I don't even understand that. I just find this easier. As long as it works, of course. But well, I just find this easier, per se. There you go. BONUS! Classic monkey ball style, balancing yourself. EPIC FAILURE! That deserves a retry, just automatically. We're gonna do this on practice mode. By the way, holding down B, you can practice any stage you wish. Any stage, any boss, any bonus stage you wish. Okay, this is what really should have happened. 
Of course, be reminded this is practice mode. By the way, I must remind you, these things are a bit slanted here. The green ones are actually slanted the most. But they're also the biggest. Oh, crap. Well, yeah, that's the general idea there. Alright. Ah, uh, no, we can't do that yet. Okay. Now. Go back to stage select. Alright. Now let's get to the real part. Stage 5. This is tricky. I don't like this one either. It's tricky. Now, you may think you could just get up there, right, and just expect to get to the other side, but you're gonna need a few jumps to do that. Because you wind up sliding off. Sliding off. But you wanna be careful with your speed as well. It gets a little harder. See, I didn't jump at the right time, and that's the problem there. not an easy one either, number six. This is actually pretty difficult. Firstly, you gotta jump over this. You also gotta watch yourself when these things move because, well, they can move all over the place and they can just move in a way that can screw you over. That was smooth. Alright, we gotta get through this, come on. I haven't been able to land myself down there yet, so this is not gonna be very nice for the time being. By the way, bananas come back all the same, which means you can collect those secret bananas once again if you wish. They do come back if you continue, so... This has got to be the stupidest part of this stage. Alright, so we got there. Now we gotta get ourselves up. There we go! Smooth! Nice. Alright, next. This one should be easy. Well, let's try and land. And there we are. Number 8. This is actually kind of fun, but it's also a 30 second stage, so uh, watch yourself. Ah, we almost got there. There was no chance. Not from that. That whole speed section, that should actually be the hardest bit of the stage, not the last bit. The last bit really isn't so bad. 
Especially since you can really just jump yourself up there. No biggie there. Ah, oh, well. Alright. Last one, number nine. Now, uh, the normal way is just play WTF, so we're gonna try this a different way. And that's not the way I intended it, but whatever. Anyway, I'm not doing this the normal way. I never want to, I never will. That was way off. Way off. Alright, one more continue. Hopefully it's the last one. That was way off. There we go. Right through. Wall clear. Of course, the guy didn't say that, but whatever. <laughs> okay, that was the pain known as World 9. Now let's go through the pain that is World 10. Ultra Heaven. If you thought World 9 was difficult, this is worse. A lot worse. Maybe the first stage doesn't look like that, but it will get worse. Trust me on that one. Alright, at least I'm finally here. That's the good part. Now well, let's just try to get through as much as we can. In this case, everything except 10-5 at the very least. We're gonna do every other stage except 10-5. We're gonna save 10-5 for last. I hope I remember that. Right through the gap! What?! Wow. That does suck. That sucked. <laughs> that was a pretty horrible try, though. Number three. Right, this stage sucks. This stage is pretty bad, I really don't like it. Um, it's a true balancing test. But I tell you, there is a shortcut. And if it works, well, it works. I never did the normal way as of yet, so the shortcut is pretty much all I'm trying either way. If I made a jump, that would be salt. That would have been awesome. That was pretty lame. I just fell right through. By the way, that secret banana, uh, those secret bananas that I got, that's 30. 30 bananas. And that's the most you'll ever see. There, there, I don't think there are any 40s in there. There should be only 20s and 30s, sometimes 10s. 
Sometimes there are secret tabs as well. Okay, I haven't had one good try yet. That's helpful, but it didn't really help me in the end there. One more time. Alright, sheesh, what was that? Oh boy. Come on. Have fun, man. I just can't get a good grip on that second chance there. Yeah, yeah, that was perfect. Oh man, that was as perfect as as it was gonna get there. And I royally just fucked that up. One more time. Also, the timer doesn't really help either. It's 60 seconds we're talking about here. Oh yeah! There we go. Number four. Another secret here. These are ten. Oh no, it's actually twenty. My bad. Also, another secret. If the bananas do not show up as collected in the replay, you can collect them again! That's a little glitch. I could basically do this all day. All you have to do is just end the replay before you collect the bananas. If the bananas do show up as collected on the replay, they will not appear again, though. Like that, you see, that's it. I'm done. With that. That was pretty cool. Essentially, that in itself just means you can get infinite points. Yeah, like I was gonna survive that, sure. Which is something I just haven't been able to do yet. I never really got to that point yet. Anyway. Alright, so from here you can watch that second one, and you can see as the goal comes down, when it starts coming back up, that's when you kind of want to go, when it starts coming up, so that by the time you're there, right, the goal is right on top. Fortunately, we got through there, so that's the good part. Okay. This bonus stage absolutely sucks. I'll tell you why. Making a jump is impossible. I'll have to show you a replay of that because I don't feel like doing that. Alright, 10-5 is skip. Let's go to 10-6 for the moment. Now this one is probably some of the most ridiculous secrets there is. It's ridiculous. Just the fact that this is even possible is ridiculous. Alright, so let's give this a shot, shall we? You gotta wait for this thing, right? So stay here on the very edge, right? Actually, it's gotta be on the on this thing. Crap! I I had this happen the last time. All right. Well, there is. Alright, the point here is, on those red things, half of them have bananas on it, and half of them don't. That's one of the major secrets of this stage. And if I can manage to do that, it'd be freaking awesome.
But what I think needs to be done, right? Okay, we need to chase after this thing right now. Run! Alright, so now you stay on this thing, alright? Stay here. You get 10 bananas per go around. And so you get a crap load of bananas for no particular reason. Okay, we think we're done here. So now you gotta get to the middle, right? You gotta get to the middle. It's not a very easy thing here, but well, it should be possible. And there we are. Number seven. Not an easy one. I rather. Take the shortcut way, you'll see what I mean in a minute. That's not the shortcut way, but well, either way. Um, well, there is going to be such a way so that it can jump. In the direction of the goal, at least. Yeah, it has to be just a little bit far out. That's great. Alright, so we gotta wait for this thing to go around. Here. If you act quickly, you'll be able to get there first time. Now the idea is to jump on one of these, if you can. If you're able to make the second bounce, you'll survive. Boy, this is not easy. <laughs> Oh, what the? In and out. That's... wow. Alright, come on, let's do this already. Alright, so let's take care of this. Damn, I made a terrible bounce. There we go. Now, of course, you have to time yourself to get yourself in the goal. If you don't time yourself correctly, you're done. There we go. Number eight. This is a mastery of jumping ability. After all that business. This could be the most difficult one here.
Ah, that was terrible. Alright. One more time. Go! Ah! Shit. One more time! <laughs> no. Oh my god, it's just so hard to manage yourself there. Ugh. Gosh. Also has a major, major secret in this stage. Also, these speed uh, boosters are also speed traps. You want to be careful again. Get on the red bit, you're getting bananas, lots of them. Just make sure you pass the bear, uh, the bumpers. There are three such ones like this. This is the second. It's a lot of bananas. I believe it's just 20, it's an automatic one up. And this is the third one coming up here. This is the third one, and also the most difficult. Yeah, I knew that wasn't gonna happen. Hurry up! No way! That also is an automatic one up. I can assure you on that one. But yeah, the first two are probably the easiest ones to get. You can probably do that. But anyway, you gotta keep moving. That's the important thing here. This is also a game of jumping your way across. Those speed ones are horrible. Don't even dare try that. No, don't. Well, it's about time! Alright, the stage that is the most difficult, 10-5. If I clear the stage 5, if not, well, there's a replay for that. That is, that replay is the only completion of this stage to date. I have not completed this since. Moving, oh yeah. And the 
it's all because of these things. These things are really the killer here. These things make the ground bumpy enough. So that it becomes practically impossible to jump from one to the other. It practically becomes almost impossible. Well, almost impossible because, well, it is still possible. But it's just a hell of a lot harder. Not to mention the very last solid platform is actually a fake platform. I don't know why this is this is the case. And apparently it's not the case in the PAL version of this, but... Well... I don't know. It's strange, to say the least. Alright, so you get here, right? Damn, I should have made a better jump there. That was a pretty good first jump. Timing this, I have about seven minutes left. If I don't do it in the next seven minutes, no matter how long it, no matter how many tries I wind up doing it in the seven minutes, right, seven or eight minutes, I'm quitting from there. I'm not gonna make this last more than it has to. Unless I honestly feel that I could be doing this today. There are also a lot of secret bananas in this stage. Those solid platforms, yep, yeah, they have bananas on them. Ten each. I'm not bothering because it really doesn't make a difference at this point, but well. Uh, if I bother, I bother. If I don't, I don't. Got there. Now for the painful part. Ah, that was a bad first jump. Terrible. That was stupid. Absolutely stupid. The red ones are a hell of a lot worse than the yellow ones. The yellow ones you can still have a chance to survive, but the red ones will always knock you somewhere. The red ones will always prevent you from moving on the correct way. As will probably be demonstrated here, I didn't jump the second time, what the hell? What happened there? I didn't jump at all. Strange. Alright. about five minutes left. I don't know, we're getting kind of close. Maybe we'll give this a couple more tries after that. I don't know, we'll see. I don't have that much time to deal with, so I don't know if I'll be able to. Besides, this video is long enough already. This is ex extremely nerve-wracking, though. Extremely. Crap! If I had a, a little bit of a better jump, I would have made that fourth one. Alright, we're getting there, we're getting there. We're doing a lot better than we usually are, though. I'm doing a lot better than I usually am. Definitely. At least today. So I don't know, this might actually be the time I do it the second time. For the second time. Stay still, will ya? Ah, if I had to jump, that would've been awesome. I would've been able to stabilize myself there.
But yeah, this stage is extremely, extremely difficult, and don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Because this is definitely a very difficult stage. The first time you play this, you're gonna be stuck for a long time, because, well, these red ones really don't help you. The yellow ones still don't help you, but at least they're easier to manage. At the very, at the very least, they're easier to manage. I probably should have just waited for the second one, man. I'm doing everything right, it's just... The jumping just doesn't come right. Sometimes your jump is forced too much, sometimes your jump is... It's sort of prevented from moving forward. Sometimes your jump is hindered, that's the word, there we go. Hindered. Sometimes your jump is forced and sometimes your jump is hindered. If you don't have too much variation in your jump, you should be able to do this just fine. But the reality of it is, you will have a lot of variation in your jump when it comes to these blocks. Sometimes you jump well. You jump. You jump well. Sometimes you jump well, and that's not a bad thing. But other times your jump is forced, going making you go too far. Your jump is hindered, making you go too short. And there's practically nothing you can do to save yourself when it comes to that. Like that, like such. Hindered. Forced hindered. Forced hindered. It's just, it's either or. And it's a luck game. If you think, it, if you think your jump is going to be forced, well then... You have maybe a split second to figure out that. That was pretty stupid. Alright, we're running on two minutes left. That third one was terrible. Two more continue sets I think you should probably fit. After that, that's it. I'm done with that. If it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. It's that simple. When I tried this the first time, I tried this stage for over an hour and it never happened. There was one time where I actually could have done it, but I really just screwed up by falling through that invisible that invisible, uh, platform. Ready, or should I say fake platform? That's probably the better word. Because, well, the platform's there, it's just fake. Because, well, you're falling through it. So it's not solid. It's just, so that's why you call it a fake platform. Just because it's not solid. Yeah. That wasn't so great. I just want to remind you, I've done this nearly 1,000 times and I've only cleared this once. At this point, nearly 1,000 times. Just the fact that I cleared it once is quite an achievement. Whether it can really happen again, I don't know.
that first jump was not so great. You gotta make that split second decision. Do you decide to skip that platform or decide to go for that second one rather? It's... And sometimes it's just a tough call. Another chance is gonna come like that again. <sighs> that was a forced movement again. Alright, one more time. One more. Severely influenced there. That's what you get for trying to collect, bana collect bananas on this stage.
Oi, 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 oi. That was the end of that. Also, in this particular stage, if you end up falling off after collecting a solid bunch, the solid bunches reappear as well. But you have to directly fall off. And the replay cannot show you getting those bananas. That's the only way you'll, that'll be allowed to happen. This is where I draw the line, but, alright, this is really, that's it though, this is really the last try, I'm not joking this time. This is really where I draw the line here. This is just going on way too long. That's actually a good solid attempt too. strange. Ready? Yeah, forced one there. Good this time, it's the last try. Unless I wind up getting a bunch. Somehow. I 
which is probably not going to happen. Nah. That's it. Continue? No. Done. That's it. This stage is practically impossible. There's no way. Well, what can I say? Sometimes it just does not happen. So let's go to the replays for a moment here. Alright, what I want to show you... I'm going to show you this. And number five in a moment. Okay. So let's show you the boss first. Uh, not the boss, the bonus. This is the way the bonus stage should have been done. Ultra Heaven 5, the completed attempt. This is the one and only time so far I've ever completed the stage. I have not done it since, and I've only done it this time. It's just one time here. Don't be fooled by that banana on that platform, man. Don't be fooled by that banana. Okay, uh, um, we'll show you this as well. This is a quick version of the Cobalt Caverns boss. This is the best time I had. I believe this is third on CyberScore. Or, s no, second actually, second, yeah. Ready? It's a bit based on luck because, well, landing the hits aren't easy sometimes, but, well, it's all there, it's all there. A lot of the lock kits were also very lucky as well, I got that last platform knocked out because of that, which is also quite something else. Now this is supposed to be a completed attempt of the boss. This is supposed to be a completed attempt. This is meant to demonstrate why this boss is a terrible idea to replay. It's, a, it's the worst to replay as well. This would have been a very good time if, um, well, if it counted. As you know, I wind up falling out. You see? It was a completed attempt though, that I can assure you. This is what 
practically the only time I've ever had a completed replay of this boss as well. This is the only time I've had a completed replay. I've tried well over 50 times for this. And not one of them worked. Except this one. Not one of them has worked. If you're landing those lucky hits in the in the regular mode on the replay, they don't show you how you did it quite the same. They actually try to kind of make you fall out because that's what was really well was supposed to happen in that particular case. Um, okay, this is a demonstration of, well, what happens when you wind up getting a time over and then getting your last banana. This is the perfect stage for doing it, too. Also, this is a fully complete version of, uh, the bonus stage for Space Case. And the replay limit, one full minute, is right there. But it is a completion. It counts as a completion. I don't know if there's anything else I'm interested in showing you. Nah, that's it. Alright. Stack credits game. Let's get to that. What the hell did I do? Alright, hold up. Hold up. I have a feeling I may need this, but well, let's see if it really does need it. Alright, staff credits. As I mentioned before. Alright. Moving all over the place, that's good. Of course, you have to play as I, I because, well, he's the default character. There are exactly 300 bananas in the stage. I don't expect you to get them all. Although, hitting ladders doesn't exactly subtract bananas from you anymore. They just tend to annoy you more than anything else. Those are bumpers as well. Those are also meant to annoy you.
fifty. One hundred. One sixty four. More than half. Not great, but well. Okay, whatever the hell that is. <laughs> All right. So that ends the playthrough of Super Monkey Ball, Banana Boots. Super Monkey Ball. I apologize in, in advance for not actually doing Tech 5, but, well, sometimes it just doesn't happen. That's just the way it is. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this. I'll see you next time for Sonic and the Black Knight. See you guys later.